we have a Mercedes Benz check engine light stays on and the reason is because the salt content on the uh, diesel particular filter or DPF is really high and you start the car you can see that check engine light remains on and in some cases if that uh, DPF is clogged for a long time what will happen is that the car might even go into limp mode where you have issues like it not accelerating not changing gear and things like that now uh, it, what's important to understand is that these cars they actually go into uh, DPF regeneration automatically uh, a certain condition must be met for that to happen that will happen only in highway driving it happens about 10 minutes after you start driving the driver doesn't even know that DPF uh, regeneration is taking place um, but uh, it does happen but the, if there is certain conditions are not met or if there's check engine light for another issues there's another active code that DPF regeneration might never happen and during the DP, that DPF is heated up to about 700 degrees Celsius and all that is burned um, so if you take your car in to a shop they might tell you that hey your DPF needs to be replaced well uh, before you actually go and replace the DPF because it, that can be very expensive uh, you should carry out uh, DPF regeneration so what that will do is it will clean the DPF and it's almost as good as new so in, in this process in this video I'm going to show you how this DPF regeneration is carried out we're going to see when the last time DPF regeneration was automatically done on this you can check out other things like the salt content on DPF and things like that but um, let's take a look for this you'll need a scanner though that it's able to um, to carry out DPF regeneration. So, uh, what you'll do is you will uh, connect the scanner, you'll collect, uh, you select your Mercedes and then your model and the engine, that's important. And once you do that, you'll come to this menu where you can do an auto scan. Here it's called the health report. It's basically will go through all the modules and it will find fault codes for you. So, uh, that's very handy, but we know what we're dealing in this case. So, we're going to go straight to the ECU engine control module. I'm going to cancel that. If you're diagnosing the car for a long time, you need to connect a, a power source to the battery. Otherwise, you might have electrical issues. You can cause damage to these cars. But uh, once you are here, before we go to start the DPF regeneration, let's look at something very important. Let's go look at read data stream. And then you can see data here from a number of sensors. But if we scroll down here, a diesel particular filter. And then you can see edge content of diesel particular filter. That's a good one to check. Um, and you can also check values from all these sensors but here's one that um, I like to check is the total distance at last successful regeneration so we'll check that press ok we'll go back we'll go back to this menu now you need to do this uh, DPF regeneration while driving um, it takes about 15 20 minutes you need two people one to drive one to look at the scanner you get instructions as you go through uh, the steps but um, you need to be driving because that DPF will get extremely hot and if it's not getting cooled a little bit, uh, that could be dangerous. But go to special functions. And then here you have a list of all the functions you can do. But what we want is regeneration of diesel particular filter when driving. You press OK. And then here it says, should regeneration be performed due to oil loss in turbocharger or is oil present in the exhaust system? And here it says, any oil present in the exhaust system burns due to increased temperatures during the diesel particular filter regeneration. This can cause heavy smoke formation if any loss is known, regeneration might not be started manually. So you shouldn't start that if you got um, oil lost um, by that exhaust. But here you can see coolant temperature, so you need to warm up the car. And then the regeneration of diesel uh, particular filter when driving. Ignition on, that, that is met, the temperature. And then um, you will have to carry this with two people. And then it, you need to drive the vehicle for about 15 minutes at um, the speeds around 30 to 40 or 50 miles per hour um, but this is where you come you press F2 and you'll start with uh, the DPF regeneration sometimes if the car has not had DPF regeneration for a long time like in this case you might have to carry it a couple of times to bring that salt content uh, low where it needs to be so um, that's something to keep in mind because you do it one time and then you still have the check engine light and um, you still have the same problem so if you carry it twice though it will remove even more salt content from DPF and you should be good now if you are have to do this frequently it's uh, what well, it's an indication then there is a problem with with a blue tag system and, and and it's could be a sensor like in the engine like the exhaust pe uh, back pressure sensor that's gonna be uh, acting up or there's a problem with the turbo or, or it could be another problem that's leading to this because the car should start DPF regeneration on its own like I said every uh, about a few thousand miles so if you have to do this every 
let's say if you have to manually do this and your check engine light comes on um, every year because of high soft content you probably have something else going on with your car and you need to have that looked at and addressed